two, three, four. Kids in the kitchen. Today we have a great show for you, but first, ooh, first we'd like to meet our guest host today, Drew. Drew likes to cook. Drew, what do you like to cook? I like to cook eggs and breakfast for my mom sometimes and on her birthday. Okay. Now we're trying to get an invitation to Drew's house for brunch. Sheila and I have already given him the menu that we're expecting to have when we go. But outside of cooking, Drew also likes math. We've been talking a lot about math today. And what do you like about math? I like multiplication because it's like all of the um, units all put together, like subtraction, addition, and um, division. Exactly. And one of the things I was saying to Drew is that with cooking, he should be very good at cooking because cooking is math, understanding the tablespoons or reducing your recipe and all the mixing and measuring you have to do. So we're very excited to have you here to help us today and Sheila's going to share a little bit more about what we'll be doing. Okay, well Drew, today we're going to teach you how to make another great meal for your mom. Mm -hmm. Today we're actually going to be doing a Mother's Day dinner meal. Now Mother's Day is coming up soon and you know that it's really great to have a, a meal laid out for your mom and we wanted to teach the kids, especially you Drew, how you can do it for mom. So today we're going to be showing you how to do chicken parmesan. We're also going to be doing bread pudding. So, Alright, all right, well let's get started with our bread pudding. Sounds right, good. Come on, let's take Okay. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to do when it comes to bread pudding is it starts with your bread. Now today we're going to be using French bread. And I have about a half a loaf because we already started cutting some things. Okay. So, big one? Yeah, I'll take the big one. And we're going to get started. Um, Mike, you can pass me the bigger of the two knives. Okay. Okay. So we're working with French bread today. You can also work with collard bread, sourdough bread, whatever bread you have at home. That's the beauty of bread pudding. It's one of those recipes where you look, with, look at what you have at home and then you make it work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our bread kind of thick. This is a crusty bread, and because of that, you know, I like to kind of have thick chunks or squares. So, Drew, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start us off by cutting it in slices like this, okay? And then what I'm going to have you and Maika work on is creating our chunks so they look kind of like that. And what you're going to do, I'm going to pass you the smaller knife and Maika the bigger knife. We're just going to cut it kind of like that. See? and cut it in half. And you can kind of eyeball it if a chunk looks too big. I mean, you want it to be big enough to give you a mouthful, but not to overwhelm you. Mm, I okay? like that, okay. So you can cut them in chunks like that. And then what I want you guys to do is stick them in our bowl okay. with the chunks that we already have, because we'll need a full bowl for our bread pudding. Okay, okay so, uh, Maika. Are we I'm sharing this? Yeah, you guys can share because I'm going to also show folks how to do the next part, which is going to be our lemon zest. So, you can swap cutting boards with me. That would be perfect. This is the handoff. <laughs> if I can get it. Oh, butterfingers. Behind the back. Okay. There we go. It's kind of like basketball, right, Drew? We were talking about that. Ah! Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Okay. Okay. Slide this. So, now, the next thing that you want to do your when you're making Actually, bread pudding... Okay, I'm gonna let well, you guys kind of get started a little bit. Hold the bread with your left hand. Right. And a lot of and stuff going down. on for the spread pudding. With your right hand. Okay. There you go. You guys got it over there? Yeah, I think you're getting it. Okay, okay. great. So the goal is to look. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with lemon zest. Now we have two lemons that here that are fresh. We washed them off. And we're gonna use a planer. 
good, good, good. Cutting. We're going to use the planer just like this, and we're going to start to zest the lemons. Now, zesting the lemons are really easy if you have something like this. A planer like this type of tool will just help you get the outside of the um, of the peel and then you just kind of shave it off. Now what you want to be especially careful of when you're working with lemon is that you don't take the white part. You want to stay at the yellow part. And for this bread pudding recipe you just need the zest of two lemons. going to also do the second one. Now this is a planer. It's a, it's a more, uh, you know, fancy zesting tool. We also have another one, which is also kind of fancy, but you can find it kind of a little bit more readily. And you work it like this, and it produces nice kind of curly lemon zest piece. Either way, even if you just use a ch traditional cheese grater, that's fine, because zesting the lemon is just really just peeling the skin off. Are you guys almost done with the bread? We are almost done, and Drew is doing an excellent job on cutting. Okay, good. One of the things that I'm working with Drew is making sure that he's holding the bread with his hand that's not cutting and watching his fingers. So he's cutting away from his fingers, but still using, um, still using his other hand keep the piece from moving around too much and he did an excellent job. Good job. Very good. And we're just about finished zesting the lemons. So we've got two uh, lemons that have been zested and we're going to use that as part of the flavoring in our bread pudding. So now what you will do is we'll move to our mixing. Okay. So we got our bread, we got our lemon zest, right? So we have to now make our custard. Now, Maika, while we start working on the custard, will you go ahead and butter our uh, baking dish? No problem. We're just using a 9 by 13 clear glass baking dish, and we've already preheated our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so Drew, I'm going to go ahead and beat these eggs a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. We've cracked six eggs here. What I want you to do is pour the half and half in. We've got two cups of half and half, uh, actually heavy cream, excuse me, that's a very important detail. Two cups of heavy cream, six eggs, very good, that's good enough. Now we've got one cup of brown sugar, lightly packed. Just go ahead and put that in, great. We've got a teaspoon of vanilla, Ooh, sorry, you okay? <laughs> and we're going to season just with a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. Now. What you'll do is you'll mix all of this together. We're gonna pour it over our bread and it's going to come out looking like this. Now, because we're going to go to break, we're just gonna go ahead and mix this, but we wanna kinda of show you what it looks like after it sits for about 15 to 20 minutes. It looks just like this. And then, Michael, why don't you go ahead and start filling up our baking dish. You can help Drew. And we're gonna get ready to go to break. You want me to hold this for you, Drew? Yeah, Drew can go ahead and do it. Okay. I'll hold the bowl and you'll okay. spoon it down. Okay. Well, we're really going to finish this up. Maika and Drew are going to fill up our baking dish. We're going to pop Good. our bread pudding in the oven. Good I'm going to finish this batch, which we'll save for the company that's coming over later. <laughs> you know, Mother's Day dinners are very big. And we will come back real shortly with our next dish.